Right, okay, so I wanted to do a little video just talking through what the transistor tape is all about on the Helix. Now, this is a Line 6 original, but I guess you could think about it being sort of vaguely based on like an Echoplex type system, I think. Um, so we're talking about a tape delay, and the reason that I love it is it's got this kind of really kind of pretty natural sounding uh, modulation and stuff. <laughs> And I think just sounds really, really pretty. And is also capable of some pretty cool sounds. So you hear there that the feedback there I've got. Um, actually being increased by my expression pedal. So, time, you're obviously going to be well aware of what that does. The feedback, again, is like how long your repeats are, which is... Fair game for that. But it can turn into, like, self-oscillation. As you hear. So, 63 to 80... I think 80 is the point where you start to get some self-oscillation. I think that may change depending on where you've set your headroom and stuff. Um, but yeah, so 63. It's quite a nice length. So the wow flutter thing is the, the sort of thing that we used to have on the Line 6 DL4. So if we turn that off. You just get like the tape degradation and if we have the five we get a bit of some modulation starting to come in and then it all the way up Even all the way up, it's like quite, I think, a pleasant uh, sort of modulation. It's not t taking you out of tune or anything, it's just... Now, scale, this is to do with, you've got two heads on this tape, so if we have this set to 100, I think you'll hear that they're both equal. So our left and right head should be the same. If we take it down to 75%, obviously one will be 75% of the other, so you get like a, a dotted kind of effect. If we take it down to 50%, we should get a dut 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 dut. Okay, so then the left and right are sort of equal but competing and then a hundred percent is the default for this But for some nice kind of dotted type effects and uh, that sort of stuff, I think 75% you heard in the intro for a bit there. We can listen to what spread does. I think if we have this all the way down, we're going to get both of the heads in the middle of our stereo field. If we have it five, in theory, they're going to start to creep out into the stereo field a little bit, I think.
And if we have them set to 10, we're getting the, the biggest left right spread. Uh, we've got a level here, the headroom. So if we set this lower, it's quite easy to sort of overdrive the input of the tape effect. Um, and you start to get like clipping. For me, I like to keep that as high as possible so we can keep those repeats as pristine as we can. Um, that's what I like for that. So that's the transistor tape and I think, you know, it's an easy one to sort of get your head around and quite a... basically just ready isn't it that's a great sounding thing so uh, if you press this button in you get it from quarter note to the millisecond uh, feedback sets the length and the amount of repeats um, once you get past 80 I think you're gonna start to get some kind of self oscillation the wire flutter is the modulation sort of tape artifacts the scale is how you can set your left right kind of ratio you could think of it in that way or uh, that kind of thing or then your spread is setting your kind of stereo -ness so you can have things at zero for everything down the center or at 10 for left and right really hard left and right mix does what mix does level does what level does and headroom is basically giving yourself as much clean uh, headroom as you'd like so you don't overdrive the input of the tape if you reduce that you start to get uh, more degraded and clipping kind of tape artifacts. Um, hopefully that's vaguely useful in terms of explaining what the transistor tape does. This is the Vox Boost tape preset. Let me know. I think this may already be in there, but it's slightly modified now with this transistor tape. Uh, I just wanted to share that because I thought it was a great sounding delay. Catch you in another video soon. If you wanted to like and subscribe, I think that helps me in some way. Let me know that this was vaguely useful. Cheers.